next knot will be melger's knot sprint it is also called a modified rodder's knot also and it is basically designed for a more slippery structure and monofilament sutures so melger's knot is basically uh, as i said modification and it is also called 232 knot basically designed for monofilament sutures like nylon or pds and again the trick is same uh, basically left suture is small uh, basically the uh, tail end I have kept as a uh, artery has applied so here I'll take two half reed knots as we take two throws in the suturing so I'll take two half uh, knots this is the first uh, half and then I'll take the second half okay then hold this knot between the thumb and index finger don't let these basically loops get intermingled otherwise knot will get uh, basically will not get tightened properly then you have to stack these binds so two knots two half reed knot three binds and again two basically you have to take two locks and lock is again on the opposite end that is the longer end and don't tighten it again the mantra here will be uh, keep it loose enough once you start sliding then you can tighten it further otherwise it won't slide then stack the these knots and binds properly like here and then you can start sliding and it will hold a, quite a good stand and it won't slip back and this is one of my favorite knot while doing the extra cordial knotting and uh, it gives an added security of 232 knot similarly you can go push here uh, if the color these tapes in fast forward mode so friends uh, there were uh, there will be many videos available on youtube but i have received ma many requests from my students that they want a uh, good uh, basically complete series on this extra cover knotting so here it is and i hope we will be able to add some new insight and the mantra to these knot is to keep practicing and uh, make at least 100 knots each of rollers, melger, tay side and tumble square then you will master I mean you will generate your own uh, tips and tricks so I have taken two half reap knot then three points and then there will be two locks so again you can see see that with the hello color coding the lock is on the opposite limb that is on the longer limb and then two locks don't tighten it too much and then we can slide it beautifully so this is the melger knot and this is i find one of the most secure knot and this is the uh, some sort of real time simulation for you guys so we are using here number one nylon as i said melger is more secure and knot and basically designed for uh, this uh, monofilament sutures so after encircling the structure which i want to uh, take in the knot i have uh, taken out the needle and how to take out how to basically pass these needles I'll make short video for you guys so I'm holding the tail end with the help of this RT forcep and I'm requesting my daughter to help me in this video and you have to uh, practice that all the movements are with the help of your this uh, hands and uh, uh, you're not much dependent so again the trick is same uh, the assistant will keep a thumb on the exit or port that will stop the gas from leaking and the will also uh, basically help to keep the right and left suture separate so 232 will be the process and again keep steady left hand will not move all the movements has to be done by the right hand and take three vines stack them properly so stacking properly means that the first bind second bind three vines should come subsequently they should not overlap and keep these binds firmly between your necks and thumb finger and then you take a lock don't tighten it too much and then you start sliding and you can tighten it further stack them properly and it will hold beautifully cut the tail end basically this short end 
to two three centimeter as desired. Two centimeter is sufficient. In the monoclinic, you can keep it up to three centimeter. Then slide it, and your secure, tight melzer knot is ready.